how did you manage to look cute with the stress i i didn't <laughs> <So> <laughs> If it is your first time joining, welcome, 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 welcome. I really do hope that you stay, you subscribe, and you become a part of the CX family. As I'm sure you guys can tell by the title of today's video, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my honors experience. Yay! <laughs> this is gonna be a part of my back to school series which is gonna be just a few videos that I'll be doing this week um, all related to school and varsity mainly because I mean like the Babudalo in high school and then afterwards I will be answering some of your guys' questions that are directly linked to university I did ask you guys um, on my Instagram I'm gonna leave that on the screen right now because if you're not following me there you should definitely go ahead and do that so you guys can participate in such activities if you guys are excited for this video please do give me a huge thumbs up please go ahead and leave me some love in the comments and of course subscribe to my channel and become a part of the zx family okay anyways let's get straight into it okay so if you guys haven't seen my undergrad um like how uni was for my undergrad do go ahead and watch that video i think i did a life update i don't know if i made it like a whole separate video but i'm gonna leave it in the cards right now so you guys can go ahead and watch that if you guys want to know how that was but for those who don't know also number one i'm going to be looking my notepad because i'm very organized in 2019 i mean 2020 oh everything is messed up you guys will know that for my undergrad i was at uct um i did my undergrad in a, i did a ba in media and writing as well as sociology afterwards i obviously moved to johannesburg last year 2019 to come and do my honors at the university of the wit vatus rat do note that obviously i'm only going to be able to speak about what i've studied i did a ba so i can't you know sort of speak for you know engineering kids bcom kids because it's all different i don't know anything about that i only know about what i studied so do keep that in mind when you guys are listening to this video or just listening to my tips or anything like that take what you can leave what you can't and let's keep pushing again if you guys were watching my vlogs last year you guys know that i only found out that i was in university on it was probably like the week before um school started so it was like a few days before it just no it was like a week before registration i think yeah so it was a week before registration that's when i found out i was disgusted it was probably like this time in jan yeah it was like this time january meant goa because i had to move to a whole other city and i didn't know what was happening when it comes to vits it was quite late but we move and in that case when i got to school and when i got to registration i did not know anything about how the courses were working or anything like that um they kind of had to just slot me in quickly because i was in i was in a I was in a mess. I was in a flipping mess because I didn't know what was going on. Obviously, um, courses and stuff work differently at WITS than what they did at UCT. I feel like I could navigate them, sort of figured out my own curriculum, even if I wasn't told. When I got here, there was none of that. So the way that my courses were set up throughout my BA honors, I had two courses in the first semester. That is in not including my thesis paper, obviously, which was like its own, I want to say course, but it was just like a, a whole year assignment. And then I had two courses at the end of the year the beginning of the year i did cma which was critical media analysis and then i did uh, media and gender media and gender was great because i'd done gender studies throughout my undergraduate degree so then like media and gender was literally a breeze for me cma wasn't as easy but it wasn't like it wasn't difficult i didn't find like i struggled doing it which was great um and also then that's when they introduced us to the topic of the thesis and we will get into that in depth in a second and then for second semester i did um, media and environments and then i did um african media systems when i tell you guys hey media and environments oh my goodness so we had two options between media so in both semesters you have two options to choose for your elective um that's the media and gender or the media and environments and then there is one that you have to take so that was my cma in first semester and that was my african media systems in second semester so i can't remember what um, my other choice was in the first semester i think it was media and like film or something like that i don't know what it was called but in second semester it was between media and politics and media and environments and your baby girl i was looking at the two options and listening to what my peers were saying and they were all like girl the lecturer that is taking that media and politics course 
is not the content i'm so sorry if she's watching this <laughs> but they were like she's not the content you don't need to be doing that so i said okay cool um i'm gonna do media and environments and trust me when i say like most of my honors class was in that class there was literally like five people or six people in the other class so I'm like okay i want to be in the other class because i know for myself like i'm not a person who likes to do readings or like wants to be like super interactive in class so i really don't want all eyes on me in class when there's five people you, i'm going to be asked questions and i'm not trying to be asked questions i'm not trying to engage like that like i'm sorry i just <laughs> So yeah, I decided to do media environments and it was honestly one of the worst decisions of my life. Honestly, I, I feel like choosing either or would have been bad, but like honestly, that was really bad. I didn't really enjoy it. However, you know, we made it through, we got through whatever. Uh -huh. So they explained to us at the beginning that in throughout the year, there were going to be no exams, which I was already like, unt, 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 the content I signed up for. For. because we had no exams obviously um our assignments wait a little bit more i always like that because i prefer to do assignments and exams i feel like the pressure that comes exams just not the content that i sign up for i much prefer doing an assignment while handing that in and let that be it you know type of situation they explained to us guys that Obviously, we had to choose a topic for our thesis um, that is obviously linked to the media in some way. Obviously. They let us know that we obviously needed a supervisor and at the beginning, they were going to assign us to a supervisor and then that is who would be working with throughout the year so how they did the whole supervisor thing was that at the beginning we had to write i think it was an abstract that we had to do and in your abstract you just basically had to obviously um introduce your topic that's what an abstract is so we had to do an, an, an abstract and when i got to class guys i had no idea what i was doing i knew i had an idea about what i wanted to do but i realized that everybody else in my class well let me say not say everybody but most people in my class i really knew what they wanted to do they came to class they said their topic and i was kind of just like oh my goodness i have no idea like i didn't have a topic that i could put in a sentence type of thing my thesis topic ended up being um a topic about influences and um it was basically like an audience study on how audiences receive um beauty influencer content specifically south african beauty influencers and specifically the bigger beauty influencers so that's what i did my topic on i enjoyed it um i didn't enjoy it at the beginning because i feel like my supervisor had some animosity towards influencers which was kind of awkward for me because obviously she didn't know that i am one and i didn't tell her specifically because i wanted her to give me honest feedback without like you know having that awkward thing and going about it was um quite a lot i will say my biggest tip throughout the whole thesis process thesis wow i don't know what i just said but throughout the whole thesis pro process is just to get started as soon as possible if you haven't already start thinking about what you want to do so that when you go in you can actually already be prepared for what they're going to give you because you already know you're writing a thesis so just already start thinking of your topic now so that you're going to come in prepared and that you already have like you know what type of research you want to do when it came to the overall course workload throughout the first and second semester i would also want to give you guys a tip to stay on top of your work that is honestly for any um whether in undergrad or postgrad but i will say that in honors you think that because you have all this free time and i only went to class like i had six hours of school a week i would literally go and twice three hours three hours and that was the end of it and if you want to see a supervisor in between that you can do you want to make sure that you're on top of it because it can pile up and everything is working together and you realize you have all these assignments but you also need to be doing your thesis so it becomes a lot very quickly so make sure that you're on top of your situation so that you're not freaking out towards the end like your good sis was okay another thing to also note they did let us know that our thesis was going to count 60 percent towards our final mark and that means that for for example even if you're getting let's say you're getting 70s throughout the year and then you fail your thesis you're going to fail do you understand you're gonna fail if you fail thesis so that is something that they taught us at the beginning and i feel like a lot of us lost that thing throughout the throughout the year when you're thinking about doing all your assignments and you're not focusing on your thesis so i don't know how it works in every other faculty or every other university but i know for vits ba ons you need to make sure that your thesis is sexy before you worry yourself too much about assignments for me that's how i started to prioritize my time towards the end because i was just like i can't focus all my attention on these assignments and then neglect my thesis 100 percent so do keep that in mind and focus on your thesis just as much as you're focusing on your assignments and if your assignments are getting too shoo shoo rather ask for an extension there than ask at the end for an extension on your thesis basically at the end i did end up getting um i think i got 75 percent aggregate so i did get my um honors with distinction <laughs> which was really really great so 
I want to let you guys know that I was doing that, my honors, in conjunction with my YouTube. And in as much as it was a lot of work, it is something that is very doable and is very possible. And they were letting us know that, honestly, guys, getting a first for your thesis is not as difficult as it may seem to you. Um, especially when you have prepared and you've done everything that I've just told you to do. You're going to be absolutely fine and everything's going to go well. So I just want to leave that with you guys is that if I could do it, you guys can do it as well. So good luck to everybody who is doing their thesis or everybody who is in their honors degree. It is a lot. But you're gonna get through it. Do you know why? I believe in you. So I didn't ask you guys specifically ask me about honors. I said ask me about anything you guys want to know about varsity. If you are in first year, if you are in the middle of your degree, if you're in the end, if you're in masters, I have nothing to say for you because I have no idea what's going on there. How did you deal with the change from high school to uni? Um, honestly, I don't feel like the jump was too huge for me just because. Um, Again, like I was in Cape Town for my uh, um, high school and I was also in there for my university. I was in the same area. I went to school in Claremont and then I went to university in Rondebosch. So I was very familiar with the area. I used to, like those are my areas anyways. And when it comes to the work and stuff like that, I feel like high school prepared me a lot for university to the point where I didn't feel like there was a huge jump from um the two places all you need to do i feel like to deal with the change is that just talk to someone about it if you're feeling any type of anxiety about anything your schoolwork whatever it is because i feel like the earlier and the sooner that you talk talk to someone about it the easier and quicker it'll be to solve the problem before it manifests into something huge what will you use your BSOC side degree for a lot of people have asked me this i'm going to be using my degree after university and honestly for me i feel like my degree and university as a whole People only think about it as what are you going to do with it after school, which is fair enough because what else are we doing at Varsity? There are lots of jobs that you can go on to as a social, social science graduate, but more than anything, I feel like going to university is an amazing experience because you learn so many other life skills besides for just getting your degree. You learn independence, you learn time management, you learn accountability, you learn so many other skills, how to be around people, how to live, you know, in a new place with new, all of that stuff is all new skills that you learn in university so i feel like it's not only just about the degree but the overall experience of varsity obviously i'm not saying people go to varsity for the experience it's something you can skip however still great even besides for the academic academic part of it what are your thoughts on dating on campus i mean I didn't do it if you want to do it do it if you don't don't i really don't have an opinion on it it works for some people it doesn't for others so do what works best for yeah not a question but i'm so nervous to make new friends how did you do it honestly my friends will tell you the friends that i made in first year that i was just very being i was like girl papaya like i told myself that listen i'm in varsity i'm in I, i'm not here to reinvent myself not even to reinvent my personality anything like that i was just like this is a new you know era for me i can be whoever i want i was going up and greeting everyone hey my name is zama and i I don't care like i literally was not shy about it like i was hey my name is zama what is your name it also really helped me being in race because i made a lot of friends there that are also brought to me on campus and they introduced me to their friends and it was also nice because the people from res like even though a lot of them won't be your friends it's like when you're on campus it's like hey girl how are you so are you good okay shut up and especially for me because i was in a small race it was even like it was brilliant like i even if we weren't friends it was like a hey what's up type of thing and you navigate your life through adversity and you see you know who your friends are for school who your friends are for growth and who your friends are for the matters of the heart so yeah that's the thing is that just be open introduce yourself to people don't be shy realize that like everybody doesn't know people so don't feel tense about it if you see people are being clicky at the beginning don't talk to those people if you feel like people are unapproachable don't talk to those people. talk to whoever seems friendly and i promise you're going to meet the best people ever in your life does getting a job in second year sound like a good idea trying to secure some coins without failing i got a job in second year and it was great I got money i didn't fail so i definitely think if you feel like you can handle doing both do it i would recommend anyone to get a campus job before you go do something else because on campus i feel like they are more understanding of your schedule and they're more understanding of you know what you're going to need as a student and what you know you can do and what you can't do so definitely recommend getting a job on campus if you can but yeah i wouldn't say get like a super super hectic job because it's difficult to manage that and school at the same time how did you always manage to be motivated 
to be honest with you i was not always motivated guys especially in my third year i always spoke about this which is why i'm saying go ahead and watch that video because i really wasn't always motivated like there are there were times where i was feeling very low and even in the last stretch of that undergrad i was feeling at my lowest and it was difficult like you just have to tell yourself that at the end of the day baby girl you need to get you need to finish this degree like you need to keep going and you need to do make yourself proud at the end of the day i feel like there's a little thing inside me that's very competitive with myself so um i definitely feel like especially academically so i feel like that maybe is what kept me motivated but i wasn't it wasn't as always at the stage where i'm like ah oh, yes school so excited because when you when you like get a bad grade or something happens like you you get demotivated and you just have to sort of pick yourself up and be like you know what the show must go on baby at the end of the day i have to at the end of the day at the end i have to i'm doing my final year the girl's nervous gonna pressure how do you deal with this honestly babes just try as i said like throughout the um beginning part just try and stay on top of your work don't stress yourself too much again and as much as you work hard also take some time to your self self care self love do some nice things with yourself with your friends not all the time because we back by just doing enough to you know relieve yourself of some stress even during exams things like that that take care of yourself because not doing that is i feel like why where a lot of people go wrong you do need breaks in between all of um the stress and the studying and all of the stuff like that but i don't feel like being nervous about it because at the end of the day you know university works in stages it's first year second year third year you don't go from first year to third so you are definitely prepared to be where you are so don't worry about it you've got this babe how did you manage to look cute with the stress i, I didn't <laughs> what's the most important thing that you should remember during o week don't lose yourself okay so let's say please do not okay don't do it <laughs> let me tell you let me be the one who tells you don't do that thing like relax because a lot of the times guys if you do too much if you just don't do it okay people are gonna remember okay and as much as it's not like the worst thing i mean things happen to everyone people remember don't do it okay someone said here how did you make sure that you stick to eating healthy while living alone i did get another question from another girl i can't remember her handle specifically but i remember she asked me how i transitioned from living in a what do you call what do you call these razors catering rays and um moving into a self-catering so i will say that the jump is very it's a lot at the beginning because of course you're not used to having to make your meals and if you didn't make your own meal you're not eating type of vibes um also your budget needs to change because now you need to factor in putting um money towards food um that maybe you didn't before i know i did my mom gave me more money when i moved into self catering obviously because now i had to cater for my food expenses and listen my biggest tip is like try to meal prep as far as you can because cooking every day is not realistic like i'm so sorry try to buy staples do not buy a lot of fruits and vegetables all at once because they will go off my food still goes off today for me i was a very easy going girl i used to make food maybe on monday it would last me till wednesday then again on wednesday it lost me till friday to be honest i probably was eating out more than i should have i wasn't eating a whole lot because i was just lazy i'm probably not the best to give the advice on this but yeah, just make sure that when it comes to your food budget set a limit for yourself say this every week this is how much i'm going to spend on food and try to stick to that or else you're going to find yourself it's easy to spend lots on food and and be ending up throwing away everything so make sure that you have that on lock so that you don't go bankrupt bankrupt because of food you didn't even eat and to end off this q a somebody asked me is it really worth the hype though it is not <laughs> it's so overrated my it. i'm joking guys go to university study fundan okay thanks okay guys thank you so much for making it to the end of my video i really hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys learned a little something about me and i hope i shared enough tips for you guys to be okay if i didn't answer one of your questions please go ahead and leave it down below in the comments and i will try my best to get to it um when i see it in the comments please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it and of course please don't forget to subscribe 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 to my channel so you can become a part of our little family and of course i will see you guys in my next video bye